Welcome back to Resident Evil Code Veronica X. Emulated on the Steam Deck. So now, we have a few things that we need to do here. So let's go to our... There's a box in here, isn't there? Please let there be a box in here. There needs to be a box in here. There's a box in here, good. All right, so we need to organize some stuff. We're gonna get the, rid of these ink ribbons. Where are the B.O.W. rounds we picked up earlier? The... Not bow gun. B.O.W. like... B period, O period... W period. I know we picked some up previously. Wouldn't it suck if we didn't have it? We have grenade rounds and acid rounds. Well, let's get those out. Oh, maybe we already loaded it up and didn't even realize it. That would suck. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're gonna be fine. All right, so we're at the point of the game where we are at the boss fight. Some people think this is the most difficult boss fight in the entire series. This is a uh, plain tyrant is what lots of people call this. So uh, we're going to go in here. I mean, we'll probably be fine because we have the, the infinite herb glitch going. But a lot of people like what happens is you have to uh, damage the boss enough to interact with something in the cargo hold to get it out of the plane. And it takes an obscene amount of damage to do it. So, you know, normally a lot of people will run out of ammo. Or uh, health or and whatnot. Because it's also in a cramped space. So, we're going to go in here. Now, I want to try this. Because apparently it's a timing base where you can, like, run around and dodge him if you can. But let's go ahead and get started here, because a lot of people can't dodge him. Oh, crap. Sorry about that, I didn't have my headset ready. Thankfully, this has been, this is an extremely lo long loading sequence. So let's go to the cargo hold and see what's going on with the plane. Oh man, listen to that music. This is one of my favorite boss tracks in the series. Now you can see the cramped space here, right? Material preparation, catapult ready. Catapult him out of here! Well, bam! Oh, that didn't work. All right, so, the, so really the uh, goal here is you're supposed to damage him enough for that catapult to uh, get ready again so you can launch him out of here. Now, technically, I think if you dodge him enough times, which, as you can see, it's not very easy to dodge him at all. Oh, my gosh, he's, he's winding up again. Oh, my gosh, run. Yeah, so, like... People who can dodge him a lot, like let lean over. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. It's ready again. Let's hit it again. So basically, you're supposed to do this over and over, and eventually, he'll be damaged enough that it'll knock him out of the plane. I think that was the first one that actually hit him because he recoiled from it. Oh my goodness. Oh wow, he's got a lot of reach now too. See, we've already had to heal three times. All right, let's go again.
Oh, wow. He didn't even get knocked back that far that time. Run. And he practically counters you, too. I mean, we're fine, because we can literally just keep spamming this health stuff until it's done. But this is very difficult to do, and you can tell. We've already healed, like, what, four times? Five times? That's interesting that the acid rounds don't uh, launch the same as the grenade rounds do. All right, let's hit him again. And he's still here! We're almost out of grenade rounds, man. He is starting to bleed, though. Uh, do I... How much... All right. Okay, this is actually not bad. He, I mean, he's not attacking us much. Hit him again! Got him! It must have been because we were he was being weakened. Alright. Alright. Alright, plane tyrants up. Done. Episode's over now. Whoops. What's the reload button? There must not be one. What? Auto? What does auto do? Auto? Manual? Oh, like aim? Okay, interesting. Anyways, that was Plain Tyrant. I mean, technically, if we hadn't used the herb glitch, we, we had enough stuff in the box to be able to uh, get through that fight. But then again, if we hadn't been using the infinite herb through in the game so up to this point, we probably would not have had enough. It probably would have been significantly harder. But you know, it's fine. We're here to enjoy the story. What was wrong? Oh, nothing. Just a giant cockroach that had to be stepped on. What's happening? I don't know. The plane just changed direction on its own. Autopilot? It's flying in autopilot mode. I can't switch over to manual control. My apologies. But I cannot let you escape now. <laughs> just like Capcom couldn't afford to use an animated screen? Oh. So now some hours later after they've been asleep because they've been flying for so long. You know what's interesting? The collar around Steve's neck right now, it looks kind of like the, the prison bracelets that Claire and Moira get in Revelations 2. Steve, don't you dare do it. Don't you dare do it. Claire will punch you. <sighs> Whatever. I wasn't gonna kiss her anyways, says Steve. I don't know, Steve. 82.17 degrees. Snow? That's the Antarctic. We're over the Antarctic. What? Hey, those are the seaplanes that left the island right before us. Then that must mean 
These CG visuals look very similar to the CG events from Resident Evil 2, don't they? Like, a little more advanced, but... Like, the way the models for the for Claire and Steve look, they're very similar. Congratulations, you just broke someone's building. Save first half end data. Okay. Well, congratulations, we're halfway done! We're halfway done. Starting part two. Okay, well, let's start the second half of this game. In the Antarctic. Hey, wake up, Steve. Wake up! It's morning! We're still alive. We live. Um, okay, then. Thanks, man. Now get up. Oh, uh, <coughs> plane's trashed. Well, let's split up and find another way off this oversized freezer. Right. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Well, let's get started. We can go down there. Let's take a look at the other side as well. Emergency evacuation VTOL storage, restricted area. All right, then we gotta go down the ladder. Oh, look at that. You don't even have a transition to a new room. Love it. All right, let's go in here. I hear zombos. I hear the Mer squad. Mer. Oh, I see one on the level below us. Couple on the level below us. Let's see, that door is locked. It is the machine room. All right, let's go. Hello? Oh, there's a zombie on the right there. You see him right there? Hello? Knock it off! Actually, no. There was something in there with you. Go ahead and break out. I don't care. There's a red light there. There's some handgun ammo here. Let's see. A metal shop machine with a diamond cutting edge. All right. Take this, you fiend! Can I not interact with this door at all? Nope. All right, more ink ribbons. Not that we needed more of those. We wasted so many in that one episode. 
Blue herb? Sure. You guys know what that means, right? I know what that means. Wasn't this the only way we could go this way? I can't interact there. This door is how I came in. This is the machine room door, which is locked. Murr. Let's go back into that room with the zombie. Make sure we didn't miss anything. Hold on, is there something over here? Mm, yes. Handgun bullets! Ink ribbons were sitting there. Green herb, don't need it. Don't even need it. If we had access to a box, maybe. Uh, I wonder if we can shoot this guy through here. Nope. Um, let's go to the map. See if there's a way out of this room outside of the... Nope. There is a door we haven't gone through in an earlier area, so let's go ahead and go back there. And we'll figure this out. Because I have seen, I've seen walkthroughs and playthroughs of this part of the game, but I have never actually played it. All right. Hello, what are you looking at? Claire, what are you looking at? Zombie body? Okay. Something over here. Machine room key? No. Bow gun powder? Who cares? First aid spray? All right. Handgun bullets? More resources for us. Yeah, I guess we can use the handgun for now. A bed. This must have been a worker's lodging. Okay. Anything else in here? Doesn't look like it. We'll run back here once more. It is awfully quiet in this room. There are only useless books. Books are not useless. It's knowledge. Okay. Now I guess we just need to go down. Mostly just finding resources so far. You can't see it, but I just slow turned and looked straight towards my microphone. What do you suppose happened to this guy? Look at all of the webbing around. Look at all the webbing around. Oh, it's just a big fly, okay. What the heck? Oh, that's it, fly. That, that's it, moth or whatever you are. Come here, come here, come here. Come here, I will knife you to death. 
What the heck? Did it lay eggs on the back of- Oh my gosh, it did. That's so gross. That is so gross. Oh no, we're poisoned. Oh no. We're leaving. I was gonna fight him with the knife, but that thing can poison me so easily, I'm not even gonna bother. Oh, hey, zombies. Hi, zombies. Hey, I got this knife. Aha! Yeah, that's what I thought. Where are the other zombies at? I hear them! Oh, are these the ones that we heard in the initial room of this place? Ew, there was another one on me from earlier. That's gross. Great, and I'm poisoned again. Let's go back out there and use the blue herb. I'm not using the ones in my inventory. We poisoned again? No. Go away! Don't lay your eggs on my on me. That's so gross. That is so disgusting. Come here, buddy. Yeah, buddy. I keep hearing these, uh, we should be fine. We good? Alright, we're good. Well, let's take a look at this area. You know, I'm gonna be perfectly honest. That moth thing is not what I expected with all that webbing. I was expecting spiders. B-O-W room? Oh, this doesn't sound seem good. What we got here? Gas mask lock releases if a gas leak occurs. What was that? Oh my gosh, spiders! I knew it! I knew it! I knew there'd be spiders here! Come on, knife them. They look different. They don't look like the tarantula enemies from uh, the earlier games. Can they still poison me? Oh, no poison, huh? I will knife you to death. I don't even care. I will cut you, spiders. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought! Who did that? Who did that? I heard that! Where you at? I heard you! Don't think you can hide from me forever! What? I saw that. Where are you? Oh, he's underneath! What the heck, dude? That's messed up, man. He's like following me under the grate. Whoa, lots of handgun bullets here. Is that all that was in here? I guess I got that barcode thing. That's probably important. Bye, spiders. Uh, maybe I'll be back later.
Hello? Is there a way up there? Hmm. Anyways. So we definitely need to find that briefcase or whatever it was that the game just showed us. Murr! Get out of here. Get out of here. I just dealt with some s ugly spiders. Come on, Resident Evil. Don't you know spiders are supposed to have hair? What kind of spiders are even... Is that even based on? You know, I'm gonna make a horrible decision. I record these vi videos at night and I'm afraid of spiders. I'm gonna look up and see what spider the these things are based on. Dang it! Machine room key? Mining room key, okay. How dare you. Not only does this room make me waste a first aid spray that I don't need. Oh, hi. Get out of here. Get out of here. Thank you. What we got here? More stuff we can't carry! Whatever. It's fine. Detonator. That sounds important. It's locked. Explosives are set, but the detonator is... What are even puzzles? The explosive is heat sensitive. What's this? Missiles are lined up here? All right, so the thing is heat sensitive, right? Yes, I am shooting at the missiles, making horrible decisions. All right, so shooting it doesn't do anything. Maybe there's something somewhere else that we can uh, do. Oh, I wonder if we can like push this in. No, okay. All right. So this puzzle, it wasn't as brain dead as I thought it was. All right, well. I suppose we have to go back now. I'm assuming machine room. No, that's, that's where the spider is. We don't need to go in here. Maybe the machine room is where that key is used. You can always uh, look at it and we'll find out. Check. A key used to open the door to the mining room. Okay. I always look through here. What's this? Power is not being supplied to the sorter, so we can't do anything with that yet. Let's look down here. Hold on, this is how we came in, isn't it? Yes, it is! What's up the stairs over here? Anything? Oh! That's where the mining room is. Glad we looked at that, otherwise we would have uh, gone all the way back for nothing. Oh, interesting. So 
So I guess they were mining through the ice here. That's neat. Oh no! I was not expecting dogs to be here. There's a lot of dogs here. Well, there were a lot of dogs here. Can't interact with that. Can't go back there. Hold on. In here? Yeah. Turn on the generator. All right. So that probably supplied power to this area. Anything back here? Hang it, ammo. And green herb. I don't care about the green herb, but I do care about the panga enamel. Looks like there's two sets of it. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and reload. Okay, now we'll head back, I guess. I'm a little concerned that we haven't run into a safe room yet. But the sorter should working be working now, right? Yes. No. No. Incorrect. Something's got to be working at this point, right? Turn to generator. I mean, we turned a freaking generator on. Generator had to do something, right? Let's go back to the generator room. Maybe there's something else we had to do in there. Generator's on, we can hear it. There's only one way out of this room. So, there wasn't another door we could take. Can that do anything? The camera seemed centered on this, but we can't inter but we cannot interact with it. There's something else here. Besides green herbs? So, I mean, green herbs are great, but we don't need them. We got plenty of stuff already. That's how we got back to the generator. I don't really just don't see anything else we can do in there.
Well, I guess we'll have to go back a little further. Try to find something else. I guess we're going to have to go back through the moth room. Unfortunately. Let's go into the map first. Is there another way out through here? Yes, there is. Run forward and to the left. Ah, we never went in here before. Okay. Look at this Resident Evil 1-esque door. Okay, listen. I'm getting save room vibes, but I hear something rattling that makes me think that uh, it's not s not as safe in here as you want to think. So we've got a box. Thankfully, we got a box. So we can deposit what? Grenade launcher, I guess, because we don't have anything for it anymore. What is this? Okay. Do I want to know? Oh, it was a rat. Okay. Uh, Butler's letter. All right, let's see. Sir Alfred, please forgive me as I must tell you of my abrupt departure by leaving this letter. I first served your father and have s for so long shared in the joys and sorrows of the family. Lord Alexander disappeared unexpectedly 15 years ago. Then an accident during our experiment took the life of Alexia. Oh, interesting. You were forced to become the master of the family at a very young age and nearly lost your sanity from the sorrow. There was nothing I could do and I felt powerless. I first thought that I should kill myself to apologize. I then realized it would be an insult to our dear Lord Exan Alexander and Alexia in the other world. Interesting. Well, all right then. I'll grab these arrows just so we can box them. So we'll have them for later if we ever need them. All right, arrows. Okay. Not really anything we need to be taking out. Let's go ahead and save our progress. All right, and you know what? I think that's going to be it for today's episode. So next time we'll trek th further into the Antarctic and get to the next part of Resident Evil Code Veronica X.